Another weekend passes, more tragedy on the water in Muskoka. An 18 year old man is the latest to drown in Muskoka on Saturday evening. The man slipped under the surface of the Muskoka River near Santa's village. And despite efforts by first responders, the search was suspended overnight due to visibility and safety concerns. The man's body was recovered by OPP divers Sunday morning. And on Friday, a 61 year old from Callendon drowned at Arnold's Bay. These two incidents come after two drownings at the rapids in Port Sydney last weekend. Every situation is different. We can never really, you know, step back and, and try and decipher why something happened or why someone drowns. But um, the big message we try and get out every single year is, you know, know the waterways. They change quickly around here, especially after rainfalls or during spring flooding. Um, and if you don't know the waterways, certainly have a, a PFD or a life jacket on. And if you're not a strong swimmer, you may want to stay out of the water, um, especially the rivers where water is flowing quickly and the water is dark. Um, just to try and be as safe as possible and uh, certainly let people know you know if you're not a strong swimmer how far out you're going so that people are aware of what you're doing and can keep an eye on you as well. Even just being here on the Muskoka River in Huntsville where it's calm and flat and it doesn't seem like there's any any concern for that um, we tell everybody that they should be wearing their life jackets it's very very important um, I really wish the government would make it a, a requirement that you have to wear a life jacket versus just having one in the canoe. Um, having it you know, beside you in the canoe doesn't help you when you go into the water. And we get a lot of people who say, well, I can swim in that. Um, but a canoe's gunnel is at the perfect position that if you tip the canoe, it lines up with the side of your head quite often. So a lot of people will knock themselves out, um, end up in the water, and nobody can swim when they're unconscious. So I used to be a lifeguard. I used to teach swimming. I was in scouts and taught canoes and scouts and everything in that. Um, I used to be a canoe trip guide and I wear my life jacket every time I'm on the water. Um, it's very important for your safety and if you're not worried about your safety, worry about the safety of the other people that are with you, the search and rescue that's going to have to come out and try to find you in that. Um, so it is very, very important that people wear their life jacket. We see lots of new people coming out and that's a concern for us. We want to embrace them, we want them to come and have the great experience, but we also want them to come back over and over again. So again, wearing your life jacket, whether you're new or whether you're experienced, is very important. Um, we also see a lot of people that are on social media now showing pictures and that, and a lot of them omit the life jackets. And I'm constantly talking to those people, you know, call yourself an influencer. Let's influence people to do the right thing and stay safe.